Welcome back. At least 80 women in Cross River State have completed a skill acquisition program set up by the State Ministry of Women Affairs. The wife of the state governor, Linda Ben Ayade, asked the women to train others to promote self sustenance. <laughs> Empowering a woman, they say, is empowering an entire generation. Over 70 women in Cross River State can now say they have been given a new lease of life. To see that all women get up and do the little bit that they can do to support themselves, to support their home, to support their children, to support their family. Tailoring, beading, baking, making of Ankara bags and shoes are just some of the trainings these women took part in. Participants in the skill acquisition program set their dreams are halfway to completion. The dreams we have today and what we've learned today, because we are going to pass it on to our generations, to the society and to the communities. The Ministry of Women Affairs said there's no slowing down and more will be done to ensure women are properly engaged. It was a dream, we never knew it was going to come to pass, but um, today we're happy it's mat it has materialized. Sustaining it is going to be a gradual process. First, in the ministry, we have set up what we call the monitoring, monitoring and evaluation department, you know, to be able to follow up on these clients of ours, so that from time to time we'll be talking to them, engaging them. And again, we, are inten we intend to form a cluster, you know, where every graduate of us will, will belong to some cooperative, some form of cooperative society, where we'll be able to keep tab on them and be able to see that uh, we put them through to assess some, some facilities, some financial facilities that will help boost their businesses. And from time to time, again, whenever we have help, we know that when they have, when we have this cluster put in place, we can always fall back on them, you know, to be able to touch them in their areas of need accordingly. Commendable as this may be, sustainability would be the watchword. And in the southeast, the Enugu state government has assured tricycle operators of its commitment to their welfare and security. The governor made the commitment while addressing the association in an interactive session at the Michael Okwara Square in Enugu. Part of this includes purchase of subsidized tricycles, an empowerment program, and approval of riders' permits in places of driver's licenses. It's a total lockdown at the Michael Okwara Square in Enugu. Over 2,000 tricycle riders have converged here. They've come for an annual interactive session with the state governor, Ifan Yubuayi. He walks in with some government officials and state legislators. After their session away from the cameras, the state government makes known the outcome of the meeting. From 1st February 2018, they will start obtaining a driver's permit instead of a driving license. And that's going to use a lot of financial difficulties on them. Some of the tricycle riders talk about how the government has made life easy for them. Before we used to buy tickets like 600 naira a day. Even at that, you are seeing all free. You have to buy emblem, 1,000 naira from every local government. But it came. It broke the distance down to 150 naira tickets. Before now, the road used to be a nightmare for we drivers. Okay, on daily basis, we go to mechanic because of a problem emanating from plying that uh, bad road. But now that uh, Buruburu has fixed it, we ply it with joy. They are also grateful for what they say is the government's consistency. The Association of Recycle Riders Transport Union, Enugu State, and all its members are fully committed to their second term in office. The governor also met with some motorcycle riders and made commitments to tackle their issues urgently. And that's today's edition of News Across Nigeria. Thanks for watching. I'm Olumide Mukol.